I gonna act like I wasn't nervous? Kind of am. I'm saying we've got these racks on for you, but I can't build a better truck than what I did. I don't care what you do. I have the baddest truck in the state of Georgia. Rose Gold? Okay. I don't care. There's a lot of shops that wouldn't want people to know that they're not perfect. There's been a lot of haters. People that didn't think it would come together the right way. We fucking did it. Nor normal day. Normal day in the, in the shop. Get a phone call about 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And it's immediate. It turns out I almost thought it was negative at first. He kind of called me and said, hey, look, you know, my, my nerves are, I'm a little ticked off by the fact that you're saying this red truck and this blue truck are the best ones in Atlanta. And in his words, he had kind of put it at, it was time for us to build the nicest truck in Atlanta. And you know, I, I vet all these situations and it seemed like it was credible, but you, you never know until people show up, right? And he was kind of telling me his idea, his dream, his goal for this whole build. And the words rose gold came over the phone and I just immediately, my, my attention was grabbed. And just like any of them, I said, hey, just come see me at the shop. Where are you from? He was a little bit north of Atlanta and uh, Bam, there you go. About four or five hours later, he showed up. He was in my face, ready to roll. We had thrown some ideas back and forth and rose gold seemed to be the topic and, and we rode out with it. And this is, this is like big. This is, this, I, I don't even know how to describe this right now. 2021 Chevy Silverado. It's the brown color. There's, there's three in the entire country of this color with the interior package, high country Duramax. 1500 Duramax high country. Nine inch McGoy's lift kit. 26 by 14 KG1 Tridents, 37 inch gladiators, but, but we build those trucks all the time, right? But what, what can we do different? And this, I, I love you guys so much for this because you guys find a way to be different. You guys find a way to go above and beyond. And I'm here to build your dream. That's what I'm here for. So today, building the dream, we're going color matched lift kit, rose gold wheels, rose gold accents on the lift kit. Rose gold we're, we're on track to, to build what potentially could be the nicest truck in Atlanta not the biggest not the most expensive but just overall concept and simplicity just the nicest truck in Atlanta we'll call him beans and Franks Jay Ford said he don't want the smoke I wouldn't answer hey you. what's up it's Alex from Southern Tire What's going on, man? Hey, I got you on speakerphone. I got somebody you need to talk we to. We do that retour to Oh, uh, man, what's up? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. J. Ford is here. He's got Question. something he wants to say to you. Oh, Looks like I have a wheel lock. Put the wheel lock back. <laughs> Should we work on it? I heard you coming for me. I don't have that shoe. Hey, man, I got to try. I, never, I don't have that shoe. <laughs> you, can't try. Not, you can't do it. You can't yeah, spend so. enough. <laughs> you can't spend enough. You can't spend enough. Hey, man, we're gonna cold flex on Mr. J4, man. J we come up here, man. You're talking about we're gonna get this bill done, man. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna got these racks on for you, but <laughs> let you come with it, man. Come with it, man. You say I ain't got enough money, man. And something something that you said in your video. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell Jay to come with it. <laughs> you can't build a better truck than what I did. I don't care what you do. I have the baddest truck in the state of Georgia. Rose Gold? Okay. I don't care. Who's doing the interview in here? <laughs> it's gonna look very, very good, I think. I'm very, very confident in the look. I'm not worried for Jay Ford. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this. The what, a lot the of color money? or just a lot of moving parts? The goal is to, uh, is to be first. What if he's not? All right, so I went and picked up the powder coat samples the other night for the rose gold wheels. A couple different shades of rose gold that we've been looking at. So I've got the I've got the powder coat samples here, so we can take a look at them on the wheel. That's what we got. All right, at this point, I hope you guys have decided what color powder coat we should do on these wheels. But I do want to let you know that none of these colors are what we had picked. Me and Alvin have already picked a color for the powder coat. So these are completely pointless and are gonna go on the floor now because we've already picked the color and we've already ordered the powder coat for the wheels. Can you just, can you answer the question please? Very busy man, I don't got time for this shit. Get can up. the phone call wait for like two seconds? No, can you just answer the question? No, talk to him on the phone man. Yep. How's the truck gonna look? I just don't got time for it, honestly. Come in early, because I have to get all of the accent pieces off of this lift kit to be able to drop this off at powder coat today. The powder coat has officially been dropped off for the rose gold wheel. How are you supposed to keep up with this rose gold truck when you got a 2012 and this really old Tahoe? 
shitting on you right now. I mean, we play with how, how are you supposed to keep up with this rose gold truck getting done in a week? You can't even keep up with beans and pranks. For for a lot of shops, this is a once a year kind of build. This is something that people spend months and months building towards, planning, taking time, stressing about. For for us, we've been blessed enough. <laughs> for us, we've been blessed enough to be able to build up to something like this and continue to do bigger and better. We're, we're doing things like this on a regular basis and it's something all of us here are blessed to be a part of. And we're just, we're super grateful for the opportunity. I think the build is gonna turn out great. I think this is a once in a year build and this is gonna be a statement for Atlanta and a statement for Southern Tire altogether. Alex, I have a question for you. I hate to interrupt, I know you're doing something, but I have a question. Okay. How does it feel? How does what feel? How does it feel to do your, your biggest build so far? It's, it's normal. It feels like another day of the job, to be honest. It doesn't feel like anything out so of So you the, don't feel like a rookie anymore, a newbie or anything? I still wake up and go to work every morning. I still go home and walk the dogs. Nothing's changed. I just come to work now and there's a set of 26 inch rose gold wheels in front of me instead of a set of 26, 14 polished those, wheels. Those may very well be the only custom rose gold KG1 triads in the world. I'm cer almost certain that it is. It's one of the only ones. But the craziest, I mean, we're, we're going to continue to do bigger and better every single day. I'm done with this. Getting everything taken out of the box. Strut pieces, hitch pieces, traction bars, control arms. <laughs> Wheels. The fun oh, part. The, one you like. the fun part begins. You have no favorites, man. Oh. Hard part was getting it all done. The easy part's putting it together. <laughs> that color, though. Beautiful brown color. It's like Christmas when you unbox presents, except when you drop it and scratch it, you buy it, right? I haven't shown much of this yet either, though. You haven't seen this yet. Rose gold U bolts. What you think of that? <laughs> Leonard's a hater. Rose gold U bolts. Excuse me, sir. Can I get a prize? If I threw a house party at some random guy's house that I work with, how many of y'all would actually show up? That'd be the funny part. Uh, we're, I actually, that was the last piece. I just unboxed all of the uh, rose gold accent pieces. Huge shout out RTP Customs for coming through with an amazing job on the wheels. Amazing job on all the lift kit accent pieces. These are some of the hitch pieces. I mean, these turned out absolutely phenomenal. So we've got all of the rose gold pieces unboxed. We've got all of the brown pieces unboxed, control arms, brackets, struts, all of it. And we got all the wheels here. Product's great, product's good, it's all here. Cross members are behind you, we're ready to ride. All we gotta do now is just get it all installed and uh, give old Alvin a call. I hope J4 is ready to be number two. I think that seems to be the uh, house party this weekend. No? <laughs> no? <laughs> He's like, no, please don't do that to me. <laughs> Ain't nothing left to do but to build the damn thing. The color really shifts uh -huh. as you Some 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 ways I don't like the color, and some ways I do. I'll tell you what though, Jake said it best. The 26 by 16s, they just they hit a little bit different. The 26 14 Tridents are nice. 
But those 2616s, you just gotta, it's crazy how much that little bit of lip really changes the look of the wheel. It almost looks taller even too, even though it's a little bit wider. We got the Victors down here, 22 by 10, 2616 Trident, 2614 Trident, 2412 Revo, and then the 2614 Trident Rose Gold. Today's a today's a big day. Now for the last couple of days, we've been gathering all the pieces, we've been gathering all the parts, bringing everything together to to make this build happen and today i believe by the end of the day we got to pick up at some point today the lower control arms and the springs from getting powder coated because those pieces had to come off of the truck for us to be able to do this and then we pick up the wheels tomorrow the other two wheels tomorrow so by the end of the day today as long as everything goes well and we can get the lower control arms and the springs today the truck will be on the ground with the lift kit now we're going to install all the accent pieces all the rose gold accent pieces tomorrow after the lift kit is done and then we're going to put the wheels on after the lift kit is done because they won't be done tomorrow obviously so today's gonna today's gonna be a big day by the end of the day today we will have a truck on the ground we will have a truck rolling ready to go down the road ready ready waiting for the biggest part of the bill it's gonna be a little weird because you're gonna see the truck with all of the uh, all the brown on it there's gonna be no rose gold there's no accent pieces it's gonna, it's gonna look like just a normal just color match brown truck but today's gonna be a pretty pretty big day and I'm, I'm really excited for, for this moment you know this is a build that, like I said earlier in the video that we've been doing for a couple of weeks now or planning for a couple of weeks now and uh, today's the day it's finally coming together Just every excuse to get the rose gold wheeled in the <laughs> in the video at this point. Is that what we're doing? I got an email this morning. That was way out of the way just for me to talk about a funny email. <laughs> I got an email this morning. Long story short, it's a quote from a Goy's kit. And the best part about this whole email to me was, let's see, seeing, uh, seeing you and Alex on YouTube, I'm a fan. Would like y'all to build my truck, y'all do great work. Um, you can call me the bread man, LOL. That's what I do for a living, I deliver the bread. So I just got an email from a guy that physically, he's a, he's a bread truck driver. He delivers bread all day long. It's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. And uh, guys from Mich Mississippi, shout out to Ashley from Mississippi. I uh, really hope that we get to build a truck for you because I want to chase this bread with the guy that literally delivers the bread every day. Oops, just, it wasn't recording. That's crazy. It wasn't. Just still get this bread regardless. Making great progress on the rose gold build today. Let me show you guys in the sun, this beautiful rose gold sparkle color. Look at that. The color on that is crazy. That Rhino Hitch, shout out to RTP Custom, shout out Georgia Powder Coating. Both companies laying down a crazy powder coat job. Absolutely beautiful. As of right now, the lift kit is done. Lift kit is done. Control arm, everything. Spindle, lowers, cross number. Like I said, none of the accent pieces are on yet, but all the lift kit is done. Really coming together well. Rear traction boards are not on yet. I do know that. Those are going on in the morning. But the whole lift kit is done. Not only are we building this all rose gold truck today, but dropped off this morning, 2021 black RST getting that nine inch McGoy's lift kit. Two at one time. You can't beat that. I love when we schedule it that way. I forgot this was coming in, to be 100% honest with you. And then we got some uh, 26 by 14 KG1 Valors on the Gladiators going on. So I'll have both of these getting finished up at the same time. Got the black on one side. Brown and rose gold on the other side. 
Those are gonna be really nice sitting next to each other. Every now and then you gotta take a little, little ice cream break at the shop. Look, I'm all seriousness, all seriousness. The new 2021 Tahoe and Yukons. I know that we can't do it because of the air rod on the Escalades. Now we just put some uh, 26 inch Coco Couture Capons on this new 2022 Escalade, all black, gloss black. Absolutely beautiful. All seriousness though, 2021 Yukon and Tahoe. I wanna do a nine inch lift on one. Anybody in the comments has a 2021 or anybody watching has a 2021 Tahoe or Yukon that does not have factory air rod, please let me lift your truck. We can do a nine inch FTS on one of these trucks, a nine inch Magoyes on one of these trucks. Please, Tahoe or Yukon, please, for the love of God, I wanna build one so bad. Drop a comment below, send me a message on Instagram, at that white bow tie, let's make it happen. It's becoming a, a locally known thing that we're building this truck. And um, I, I've had a lot of people come through to come see us in the middle of the process of, of building this truck. We got Chauncey up here today. We got Lou came through today. Bossman 2020, an icon in the area. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Jay Ford came through earlier. I didn't even get to film Jay Ford. I was busy. He, he came through. Jay, I mean, Jay Ford's been the one talking the most crap. Of course, he had to sneak in and come see the truck, you know, being nosy because he feels like he's, you know, about to get shown up. But we've been, uh, we, we've had a, a laundry list of celebrities come through over the last day or two to come check out this build. And we got one more to show you, of course. We're building that other brown truck. And then, of course, this shows up in the shop. That'll give you a good comparison, though. Only two brown trucks, Silverado, that I've, that I've ever seen, 1500. This one's not the high country, this one's just a, like a 4x4. It's got the 26 inch chrome TIS wheels on it compared to your uh, rose gold down there that I'm only going to give you a sneak peek of. I have to blur your face out. Only a sneak peek. That's a beautiful truck too though. 26 by 12 TIS, getting some gladiators today. That Hershey brown color. I love it. excited they probably saw this truck in the background they're like holy crap it's done and well, it's, I was planning something the, with this the black truck do a big grand answer but then you walked up hey you ready no it's not the rose gold truck we did finish up this 2021 Silverado today first one we've done ever it's my favorite build you know just a good everyday good everyday driver all jokes aside though Cody local guy I love the local guys local guys I you gotta show love to the local guys. Cody dropped this truck off yesterday. 2021 Chevy Silverado, nine inch, all black McGoy's lift kit, 26 by 14 KG1 Valors, and the 37 inch, I was I almost said trail grapplers, but they're not trail grapplers. X-Comp MTs, right? I wouldn't have expected I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just paid to be here. By Nitto. By Nitto, and KG1, and Chevy, and Jake. I'm just paid to be here. I'm not, I don't actually work here. Who are you? Who, me? Yeah. I'm just the camera guy. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Alex, by the way. What's up, Alex? The bow, bow tie kid, what they call you. Or weather boy. You know, I got a lot of a lot of nicknames around here. I'm kind of tired of following you around. I wish you'd do something exciting. <laughs> I wish you would. <laughs> Some content here, bud. We, uh, we, Cody dropped this truck off down in the middle of the week, and uh, we got it knocked out real quick for him. I, I love these. It's clean. It's simple. You can't go wrong. It's a great comparison 
for us to do this black with just the polished wheels and then inside you got the brown with the uh with the rose gold the po this is a great way for you to be able to see which direction you want to go you know you have some people that you want me to show you my butt oh we'll see then they're staring at but he's in hey hey we got six thousand views on that video four thousand more we're hooking chains i'm ready to hook right now Four thousand views and we're hooking chains. Can't even work anymore. Man, can't even work in peace anymore. Out here trying to, you know, just dropped out of college, trying to make my way in life, and you got Joe blows down there just schmucks. trying to just schmucks down there, just trying to, you know. Let me know what you guys think of this truck in the comments. KG ones, always a banger. McGoy's lived, always a banger. Another one in and out in a couple of days. I, I tell you what, I love this truck. It's really beautiful. I'm ready to see some rose gold. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What, just roll back and forth? It's like one of those things where, like if there's a roller, if there's a skateboard on the ground, you don't know how to skateboard, you're still gonna stand on it for a minute if you're talking to somebody. Yeah. Play around with it like you know what you're doing. <laughs> maybe, maybe even go like six feet across the floor and then almost fall and die. He's like, you quit. I'm very safe. I don't take a lot of risks. I can't skateboard. I don't act like I can. 24 hours away from. I feel better about it. Done. It looks a lot better when it's on the truck. I was kind of worried. <laughs> worried? Yeah. It's good though. It turned out good. It did. The wheels look good. With tires on them. Of course, what do you say about gladiators? Put them on anything, it looks good, right? Center cabs look good. KG1, baby. Dirty hands, clean money. Dirty hands, clean money. You're damn right. <laughs> How do you feel? The day of the build. The truck will be on the ground today. I was, uh, I'm not going to act like I wasn't nervous. Kind of was. Kind of am. A little anxious. There's a lot of moving parts coming together. It's a very difficult color to do. Two difficult colors to do. You got a difficult color match for the lift kit. You got a very difficult translucent rose gold color. There's a lot of things that had to line up perfectly for this to happen. And I think we're gonna pull it off. I think we're gonna pull it off. I told you we would. I think we're gonna. What are they gonna compare it to? The lift kit's on the truck, the accents, accents are on the truck. Wheels are being mounted. They're going to be on the truck in the next 15 minutes. It's coming together. I'm going to pull this off. It's going to happen today. <laughs> what? A couple of Joe Blows at Southern Tire. A couple of schmucks. Building a couple of cheese balls. Building a rose gold truck. Let's get this bread. I just pulled up to the shop and I got the text message this morning. I said earlier in the video that I wanna build one of the new Tahoes or one of the new Yukons without the adaptive ride control. I just got the text this morning. Shout out to Michael from GMC here local, a little bit north of my house. Michael has been day to day texting me, letting me know when the pre-orders for the new 2022 Silverado has started and this morning officially they have started i don't even think they've released it to the public yet but i got that text this morning that the pre-orders are available for the new body style 2022 silverado and gmc sierra 1500 the new body style please if you guys are in the market for one hit me up stop playing games i can get it built to whatever factory spec you want and then we can put a nine inch lift on it and some 26s let's be the first in the freaking country to do this please don't play games with me we will make it happen i'm so excited i can't even talk right now i'm so excited because i want one of you to hit me up so we can build this truck for you the brand new 2022 silverado let's do it let's let's get this bread together i want to do this so bad you guys have no idea so please if you guys are in the market for a 2022 silverado or gmc 1500 the new body style hit me up we're going to take a moment moment a little break from all of the you know big silverados rose gold wheels kg1 we're gonna take a little break come take a look at the old skinny bow tie over here Needs a little bit of love today. I've been getting my trucks washed on a regular basis now. So instead of every six weeks, six months getting them washed, one gets washed every other week. So one week will be the white truck, the other week will be the silver truck. But one thing I want to tell you guys about this truck is, so I bought this used 
probably six months ago. And uh, you know, I've done a couple things here and there, but I've never, you know, when you buy a truck used from a dealership, it comes detailed. The inside's cleaned out, it's vacuumed, it's clean. You know, they, they do a full interior, exterior detail on these trucks. I bought this truck used um, from a guy that ended up getting shipped to me from Florida and I never had the inside detailed. So I just hopped in and started driving it one day and now my uh, all of my shit has completely overgrown in this truck. So I'm gonna take a minute, clean it out, and I'm gonna have Odoms come through and completely clean out the inside of the truck interior detail vacuum wipe down everything and then we're going to come through shout out to the sponsor of today's video shine armor we're going to come through with some shine armor odor eliminating spray i think it's the leather scent we're going to come through make it all nice and clean so i'm going to clean all my crap out real quick look i'm I like i'm so terrible about you know i cleaned it out a little bit it was a lot worse than this we're going to get it cleaned out and then i'll uh, show you guys the shine armor stuff here in a second Got me all cleaned up. Like I said, this is the first time this truck's ever been clean. I've got a lot of work to it, to do on it. The headliner's falling out, but at least I got a clean truck to work with now. You like my little raggedy little Sony speaker that came with the truck? That booming in there, buddy. It's looking clean in there, though. Shine Armor, so we're gonna come through with some Shine Armor odor eliminator and the leather scent. I'm assuming you just kinda, based on the instructions, just kinda spray it around in there, make it all nice and clean. But shout out to Shine Armor for coming through, showing some love to the uh, to the old skinny bow tie, getting it all cleaned out today. Shout out to Odom's, always, always A1, always on point. I don't even know if this back seat comes up. I'm not gonna fool with it today, but hey, I'm happy to have it cleaned out. Happy to have it smelling good. Shout out to Shine Armor. Do you know how I feel to be alone? Do you know how I feel to have the world on your shoulders and still get hit by stones? All lies on me, but I ain't throwing up the west cause the north side's still my home. Trying to cover up wounds from the past, but the shit run deep, run deep in the bones. So deep. Yeah, pick up the phone. I be going through some things, but I never complain. It's too much on my heart and too much on the brain. Ride through peace streets, swerving through lanes. Windows blacked out, having real battles with fame. I don't wanna be seen, I don't wanna take pictures. If I stay on me, I really get with you. They know the money staying in my hand like a blister. I do it for my mom and I do it for my sister. Do it for the ones that really care about the kid. All that fake love never equal out to what I did. Gay niggas dreams, gay niggas hope, gay niggas gain. They just wanna see. I just wanna sit there and look at it, to be honest. What do you think? I love it. Been a lot of haters, a lot of naysayers, a lot of doubters, and just people in general that either thought it wouldn't turn out good or people that didn't think it would come together the right way. And I'm, I'm here to say that we fucking did it. Absolutely. 2021 Chevy Silverado, that brown color. Who thought we could pull off a beautiful brown color? All you doubters and naysayers in the fucking comments, I'm gonna have to bleep this out because I'm getting, I'm getting fired up right now. 2021 Silverado, the Duramax, high country, nine inch McGoy's lift kit, color matched brown, 26 by 14 KG1 Trident, rose fucking gold, baby. Rose gold with the gladiators. You don't ever see me really get excited about a build on camera, but I'm excited about this one right here. I'm excited about this one right here. Alvin's gonna be so damn excited when he gets here. I hope a rolling camera when he, when he pulls up. I really do. I mean, there's, we've had some ups and downs. We had to customize the bracket for the traction bars to keep the factory steps on there. I mean, there's, there's just, there's a lot that went into this build that you guys will never know. I tried to do the best that I could filming this truck during, during the week to show the process, show the good and the bad, because we're an honest, transparent shop and we put out a good quality product for you guys. I myself, you can see at the beginning of the video, I went and dropped off all the powder coat, I went and picked up all the powder coat, I did all the leg work. I'm willing to go above and beyond for you guys. That's, that's, that, that's what I'm here for, that's what I love to do. And then we're gonna film it and make you look beautiful on YouTube, that's what we're gonna do. But just look, look at this truck, man. This truck is beautiful. That color match brown lift kit. We got the we got the brown lug nuts, brown spike lug nuts to match. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> the brown spike lug nut, brown spike lug nuts to match the lift kit. Rose gold powder coated wheels with the polished lip. 26 by 14 kg on Triton. 37, 13, 50, 26. Gladiator X car 15. Rock lights, wheel lights. 
We've got a fully custom powder coated to match the truck. McGoy's lift kit. We even did the lower control arms and the springs during the, during, during the build process. Every accent piece on the lift kit is rose gold or silver. Some of the pieces had to be silver because I felt like it needed a little bit of color or a little bit of breakup of the color. But you got all your McGoy's emblems that are rose gold. The upper control arms, the front compression struts, the rear traction bars. Hell, even the even the damn hitch is color matched, either rose gold or brown. I mean, you got a beautiful ass truck. That's all I got to tell you. I'm super excited for you to see it. That color turned out really good, especially in the sun like that. That's crazy. The Rhino hitch out here. Color matched, rose gold, both the colors together. I even donated the pin for the damn hitch because we didn't get one. Donated it off my own truck. See what I do for y'all? Who are you? Me? Why do you always just, this random guy show up when I'm trying to film something, holding the camera? I go out to film something, this random guy with a beard shows up, acting like he knows what he's doing. It's a glue line. My, mine's, a, mine's a Velcro. Is glue on better? Does it last longer? Yeah, you don't have to wash it. That's kind of nice. It gets itchy with the Velcro. The Velcro sticking to you and stuff, you know? All right, I'll give it to you. Did it turn out better than you thought? It did turn out better. I'm no longer like panicking about it, which I never was, but I do believe that it did not. Um... Oh, yeah. But yeah, it turned out good. I don't think, uh, I think it's too much different from J4 compared to It is. It's a different build. J Ford's is a different style. It turned out really good. Do what? Oh, I didn't see the stick. You like it? Now you gotta wash it up. It is water. Huh? It is water. I see fingerprints. Ah. Ah. Hater over here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. 2021 Silverado, rose gold accent, rose gold 26s, brown color match lift kit. In my opinion, one of the biggest builds of the year. My biggest, the biggest build of my life that I've been a part of. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I wanna, before, before we, we move away from the truck, before Alvin comes and gets it, I wanna give a huge shout out to Georgia Powder Coating for laying down an amazing job on the lift kit. The lift kit is almost damn near perfect. Now I know you can't match a powder coat and a paint, but it's damn near perfect. I wanna give a huge shout out to RTP Customs in Atlanta for doing an amazing job on the rose gold wheels and all the accent pieces. You two people, nothing would have, would have been possible on this build without those two companies. And I also want to give a shout out to the guy that did the ceramic coating on the truck. I don't have his information yet, but I'm going to put it up on the screen right here. Alvin's going to be giving that information after I film this section. So I want to give a shout out to the detailer that did the ceramic coat on the truck. It's got a very nice ceramic coat done on it, and that'll make it really easy to clean later on. So shout out to him as well. The truck, the paint, the detail work on the truck looks amazing. So shout out to him. Like I said, I'll put his information on the screen at some point. It's a super cool moment because, you know, we got the 2021 nine inch McGoy's 26 inch KG1 Valors for Cody up here. We got the 2021 High Country 26 by 14 Tridents rose gold with the diesel up here. Amazing, amazing. And we got Boss Man 2020, we got Lou up here in the cut. 2020 Trail Boss nine inch FTS 26 Archons. Be able to build so many cool trucks and it, like I say, I say it all the time and I'm gonna make sure to say it again it's a blessing to be a part of something like this to be a part of such a big moment to be able to gather so many amazing people to build so many just awesome trucks together I just want you guys to know that we don't take it for granted and we're super grateful for the opportunity to build some beautiful trucks for you guys rose gold polished and black I'm glad you like better I do 
it for my mom and I do it for my sister. Do it for the ones that really care about the kid. All that fake love never equal out to what I did. Gay niggas dreams, gay niggas hope, what? gay niggas gain. They just wanna see me broke, what? wanna see me fucked up, down bad, looking like so and so. Keep the cream on me like an Oreo. Pockets getting fat, real fat like Terrio. Still holding on to the hurt and I can't let it go, but I try. Yeah, I swear. It's the only way they gon' feel me. Yeah. Let's go. Do you know how I feel to be used? Everybody wanna take, don't nobody wanna give. Got a nigga like me confused. A real diamond in the rough, really got it out the mud. What a nigga got left to prove. Please tell me. Black and chrome. Nine inch McGoys, 26, 14 Valors, Rose Gold and Brown, Nine inch McGoys, 26, 14 Trident, Player Blue as Jay likes to call it, 26, 14 Forces, Nine inch McGoys, and the boss himself, the Silver Trail boss, Nine inch Black FTS with the 26, 14 Archons. Hell of a lineup. We need everybody in the video. You don't like being in the videos. Lou don't like being in the video. Cody don't like being in the video. Fans right, watch. We want to see the video. Stand in the truck. Yeah, come on. Let's. On, on the fans watch. Come on. Fans watch. The feds. I can't say that. Bleep. I got a bleep bleep time. It's funny in the videos. I'm always like, man, I need to stop cussing. And I keep cussing. Fans watch. Look, I just I want to take the most. There's no better way to end off the video than what. I think Jake said it a couple minutes ago. This is a, a once a year opportunity. Stuff like this doesn't happen every day. First of all, to be able to, to build such amazing trucks all the time, we're, we're super blessed and we're grateful grateful for the opportunity. I can't even talk today. Grateful for the opportunity. Nine inch lift, McGoy's lift, 2614 Tridents, Rose Gold. It's a, it's, a, it's a once in a year build. And to be able to do something just as equally amazing at the same exact time, same day, same time period, with the clean, just 26 by 14, the Valors. I mean, it's it's been a huge week for us. It's, it's been a, a week that will live in history till the end of time at the shop. And I humbly in front of the owners of every one of these trucks, each one has their own special things about it that make it better than the next, you know? One has nicer this, one has nicer that. They're all equal, they're all better in their own ways. But uh, everybody here at the shop just wants to say thank you guys for the love and support on the videos. Um, I still want to build a 2022 Silverado, so y'all need to stop playing around. Y'all need to hit me up and you know stop stop playing. Jake's winking at me in the background. Uh, at the at the end of the day, rose gold, polished. I don't know. I don't know. Rose gold or polished. I don't know. Lou, Lou and Jay, Lou and Jay don't like being in the videos. Mr. Rose Gold. I'm gonna get the video. Rose Gold himself. You know what I'm saying? That's him. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was Mr. real Rose money. He was Gold. <laughs> that was real money. Yeah, we, we don't play any games. Yes, that was sir. real money up here. Yes, sir. We did it, man. We did it. It's done. I have a question. Yes, sir. Expectation versus reality. Man. The reality, man, I man, I had goosebumps coming up here. I ain't gonna lie to you. Soon we got <laughs> soon we get off the exit, I was like, man, I'm ready to see this truck, man. Man, expectations, man. Man, y'all knocked it out of the park, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. We love it. Uh, this build took a little, you know, probably about a month, a month and a week or whatever. And pieces went everywhere, man. And it just came together. It came together, man. Y'all guys, y'all guys are true, bro. Y'all guys are true. I'm we happy and satisfied, man. I'm number one. <laughs> we gonna share number one. Number one and number two. <laughs> we gonna share number one now. <laughs> we share number one. We gonna right. share number one now. We can actually, we can actually do this right now. Hold on. Tell me who's number one. Rose gold. Blue and polished. We can let the world decide. Would y'all say comment? Comment below. Comment below. <laughs> Always a like, pleasure. subscribe, comment below. <laughs> you know, you want to say it? It's been a while since I've let somebody say it. Well, let's get that bread. <laughs> let's get this bread. <laughs>
sir. I need you to tell me a little bit about your experiences here at the shop. Okay. Well, for weeks we've been debating on a roast gold or another. Uh, they so give about fifteen dollars. Yes, we finally got the hang of it. Yes, sir. You know, it's right here. Look. Yes, sir. Gold, roast gold. Is you know? Alex really a paid actor? I think so. I think so. You ever see him up here doing day-to-day -day duties like me? It's always videoing. Yeah. I sure. Know. One day a week, right? Maybe twice. Back of the rose gold. He's back. Yeah, that, that's not. It's gonna be a bit bad bill, you know. Yeah. How about you potentially being a paid actor? Name and occupation, please. Caden Mahoney. No. Wait, what? What? What was your occupation? I don't know. <laughs> what, was your, what do you do for work? Uh, detailing. Mobile detailing. How do you feel about Rose Gold? I like it. I'm asking the questions here. It's pretty just like you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Are we gonna, is he, he's underage. Are we going to have to blur his face out? <clears> That's <throat> just Jordan. There is the person is. Faces. Do we have consent to post you on the internet? I might want to call his mom. I'm going to call my mom. FaceTime. Bra Brandon, Brandon knows her. You pay for it, you want him to pay for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video this week. Uh, I spent a lot of time and a lot of effort, and I want to say thank you to you guys for watching all the way this far to the video. Huge shout out to Alvin, Jay Ford, Cody, Lou, everybody that you know was a part of this build, a part of this video. That, that damn red charger. I, I know that you guys, if you know, you know, that damn red charger was in the way, but it will forever go down in history as, as one, of those, one of those moments that will never be able to be duplicated. And that, that damn red charger, <laughs> I just, if you know, you know. But hey, guess what? This bill was huge. It was a lot of fun. It was, it was it's been a week. But uh, 48 hours, I got a, I got another 9-inch lift and some 2614 KG1 Trident's coming in to get lifted. So right back to it on Monday morning. Let's get this bread.